This is my favorite time of the day. So beautiful and so quiet. And it gives me a chance to start the day in a reflective mood before the rush of decisions and activities begin. It's also a time of day when I have a chance to think of you, our consultants and our directors. And lately, I've had something on my mind that I've wanted to share with you. Something that concerns your future and the future of our company. Not long ago, I was being interviewed by a local television station. And during the interview, I was asked a question that started me thinking. What would happen to Mary Kay Cosmetics, its corporate structure and sales force, if anything happened to Mary Kay? Well, there was once a time when the entire company's existence depended upon me personally, but that's no longer true. Today we have thousands and thousands of consultants and directors who believe in the company philosophy and I think would carry on forever if anything happened to me. I hope there will not even be a slump in the stock market. I hope there will not even be a slump in sales. I hope that they will carry on this philosophy that has made this company great and that they will carry it on forever. For years now, newspaper and television people have wanted to interview me because of what I had accomplished. They didn't know it. But they really are interviewing me because of what you have accomplished. I'm so proud of you because you represent the strength and the future of Mary Kay Cosmetics. I believe the finest achievement of this company is not our great product, or the marketing plan, good as it may be. Most companies measure their assets by their balance sheet. But here at Mary Kay Cosmetics, our most important assets do not appear on that balance sheet. But our most important assets are you, our people. One of my strongest reasons for starting Mary Kay Cosmetics was my determination to give other women the opportunity I felt I had always been denied. I wanted to give women the opportunity to go as far as their abilities could take them, to be the very best they could be. I wanted to give women a chance to realize that they're wonderful and special, and that they can succeed beyond their wildest dreams if they were just given the opportunity. So many of you have accomplished so much. So what was once my dream has now become a wonderful reality.